Have you ever started editing a project only to find yourself getting bogged down in the middle of the story, not sure where you should go next? Stick around to discover how you can map out your story, know exactly where you're going, and begin editing your film before ever touching any footage. My name is Jakob Pander. On this channel, I share over two decades of narrative and documentary filmmaking skills and insights. If you want to catch more videos dedicated to creator empowerment and independent filmmaking, this is the place. Now to the paper edit. Creating a paper edit before you start cutting your footage is a great way to get to know your material and can be a huge time saver in post-production. This is especially helpful if you're preparing your story to work with an editor. Here's how I go about creating a paper edit for my documentary projects. Once I've transcribed the documentary interviews, I like to print them out and just take them away from the editing room. I find this helps me avoid any digital distractions. I'll find somewhere comfortable where I can read the transcriptions, maybe a coffee shop or just on the couch, and spend quality time with the material. I like the tactile quality of just turning the pages and being able to make quick notes in the transcriptions as ideas come to mind. I find this is a great way to transition from the production stage and really get to know the material that you've captured before you spend hours in front of a computer editing. It allows for rumination on the material and gives you time to reflect, find connections, and generate new ideas as you move forward. You can be with your material and still be in a sort of daydreaming state of mind. Away from the computer, you'll start to discover ways in which to compose the interview and harness it to create the most effective and dramatically interesting film. As I read through the transcriptions, I'll highlight the areas that stand out to me. I'll also look for links between the ideas being discussed and the deeper themes being explored. Once I have all of these sections highlighted, I start to get ideas about structure and make notes on the best order to organize the material. Once you've absorbed the material that you have, found the strongest moments and key story beats, the next step is to actually create the paper edit. At this point, I'll get back to the computer and create a new document. Here, I cut and paste all of the highlighted sections in the transcriptions to build out the first rough draft of the interview edit. I also include the source file name and footage timecode with each section of the transcript I use, so later I can easily find the footage. I'll also include any visual descriptions for scenes and transitions and audio notes for sound design and music. Now you have a full script based upon the materials you've captured, including timecode reference to where all the clips exist in your footage. This is essentially the paper edit, a first draft of your film on paper ready to be conformed into the first rough cut. From this point, you can choose to begin working with the footage, or you can take it one step further and create a full audiovisual script, aka an AV script. This can be very beneficial when you're working with an editor on your project. Check out how to put together an AV script here and how it can be a powerful collaboration tool when you're working with an editor.